Hello everybody, welcome to this special presentation. Today we have the honor to host Mr. Gert Kirsten, CEO of CellSci. This company, what they do is that they've built a drug that allows to boost the human system. So Gert is here with us to tell us why his company should represent your next investment. Mr. Gert, welcome by. Thank you, Kirsten. Excellent. Good job, good to be here. Thank you. And uh, let's talk about this drug here, Multicline. Tell us what is it about, uh, you it's about boosting the immune system, but what makes it so different? For 25 years, we've pursued this idea. Mm -hmm. Until two years ago, no one believed in it. Then suddenly, a light switch was turned on, and now people think it's the future of treating cancer. Okay. Now, drug development occurs in the space of dying cancer patients. So mm -hmm. all cancer therapies that boost the immune system other than ours, mm -hmm. are boosting the immune system after surgery, radiation, chemo. Okay. How much is left of your immune system at that time? Not much. It's destroyed. Yeah. So your chance of actually being successful is much reduced. Mm -hmm. Also, you're only helping a small number of people. Mm -hmm. We've taken a step further, something that's never been done before. Mm -hmm. We're boosting the immune system right after your cancer diagnosis okay. and before you're scheduled to go into your first treatments. We want to make the first cancer treatment more successful and we think that boosting immune system that's still healthy before radiation chemo mm -hmm. has a greater chance of success. Okay. But right now, uh, I know that you, your multicline drug is in the phase three trial. Um, based on the recent studies that you have done in humans, um, what makes you think that it's going to be successful in the phase three trial? We had very, very nice data. We did mm -hmm. multiple phase two studies. Why do you do multiple ones? You need to find the best combinations. We're doing something that's never been done. Mm -hmm. So you find out how long you should give it and what dosages and mm -hmm. all of those things. Only when you're sure that you have something, you run your final study, mm -hmm. which we did. And we saw excellent results, which were top, uh, published in, in top-notch journals presented at ASCO. Mm -hmm. And what we basically saw, I'm going to summarize it, is rapid three-week responses, which is unheard of in the, ca in the cancer space. Okay. Um, we had no safety problems at all. Mm -hmm. And we appear to have significantly increased survival. Okay. So now we're testing that in the phase three study. Okay. And what we're trying to do is we're focusing on head and neck cancer. It's mm -hmm. a gruesome disease. Most Americans and Canadians don't really know can head and neck cancer that much mm -hmm. because the people who have it don't tend to go out anymore, okay? okay. They're disfigured, they have tremendous difficulties. Mm -hmm. But worldwide, it's 6% of the world's cancer cases. There has been practically no progress on the treatment of head and neck cancer in decades. The okay. need is so great. Okay. We have orphan drug status in the United States. Oh, you already have it, okay. Exactly. So mm -hmm. you have an advocate inside FDA. You mm -hmm. only have to do one phase three clinical trial. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have great partners who participate. So we need to prove this concept mm -hmm. that boosting your immune system right up front mm -hmm. increases survival from the first treatment. Because think about it. The friends and family who have died of cancer, everybody knows a story, has a story. Yeah. They always die because the patients were treated, mm -hmm. they waited, and the tumor came back, right? Mm -hmm. It's the recurrence of cancer that tends to kill patients. Okay. Very rarely is the cancer right up front so horrible that, that you don't think you're, you know, that it's different. 95% of the patients, we are for those 95. Mm -hmm. If we can stop the recurrence, what happens? You die a normal death, but you don't die from the cancer. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about, and that's why this is such a almost destructive technology. Mm -hmm. Because th think of the impact. People don't have recurrences. Mm -hmm. People do not become dying cancer patients. Mm -hmm. And that is a potential that you, you get. Exactly. Have. And then you take that concept and you take it into other cancers because this drug should also work against other cancers. Okay. It even appears to work against a virus, human papillomavirus. Maybe it will turn out to work even against other viruses. N now, talking of this aspect here, le let's talk about two key aspects there, because you are actually, you're in phase three trials with the FDA, but there are two key aspects <coughs> I want to focus on. First of all, why have you already started to build your plant in the US? And why are you already in several countries doing clinical trials? Why not focus as a junior company like yours in two, three type of countries where the chances of the regulatory hurdles would be less than other countries, for instance? First of all, mm -hmm. 
We may be small, mm -hmm. but we're playing in a space where only the big guys play. We cannot think small. Okay. There is one standard by which you do it, and that's called perfection. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, there are two parts for drug approval, mm -hmm. for a biologic, which mm -hmm. is what all the new ones are, including ours. Mm -hmm. One half that no one ever talks about is manufacturing. Mm -hmm. If you do not have your manufacturing locked down when you go into phase three, mm -hmm. you will probably never get to market even if the phase three is successful. So your Ours is, is already locked working. down. Okay. We spent $100 million to validate the manufacturing, uh, manufacturing process, mm -hmm. $25 million to for the facility. Mm -hmm. And how do you know we do are doing it right? The European inspectors have been there three times and we've passed every single time. FDA and Can Canada Health comes on, it comes later on. Okay. okay? okay. So that's locked down. So mm -hmm. now the remaining question is, does the clinical trial show the clinical benefit in a statistically significant manner. Mm -hmm. For us, the clinical benefit has to be 10% increase in overall survival. That's the gold standard. Anyone who has overall survival in a statistically significant manner has always gotten to the approval stage. Okay. So how do you get there fastest? You do your studies in many countries because people think it's easy to enroll patients, but mm -hmm. it's actually not that easy. You don't take every single patient who walks in. Mm -hmm. It's a clearly defined population. Okay. And there was a company last year that was very successful, Puma Biotech. They ran their study, I believe it was in 41 countries. Mm -hmm. We're currently in 21 and will soon be in 25 countries. But we're talking, we're doing it in all the major countries. We're doing okay. Canada, uh, we're doing it in the U US, mm -hmm. UK, France, Austria, etc., etc. Okay. Now let's talk about uh, the partners that you have. Uh, I know we had you had some challenges before with the multi-client drug with a former partner that didn't do their job right. You're suing them. Uh, now there's a new partner came on board, which is called Ergomed. Tell us about the relationship with Ergomed and uh, is the partnership better than the one you had before with the former company? Look at the enrollment. When we let go of the other company running the phase three study, mm -hmm. they were enrolling on the order of zero to two patients a month. Mm. We're now hitting new record numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, last month it was 25 patients. We hope for new records this month. Okay. We're completely transparent. Mm -hmm. Every month we put out a press release on the number of patients enrolled. Okay. 18 months ago our stock collapsed. Why? And by the way, I went in for full disclosure and I bought a huge number of shares last year because the valuation was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, about the current price where we are right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know we can turn it around. So 18 months ago, people said, you're dead, your company will go out of business because you will never finish the phase three study. If mm -hmm. you cannot finish the phase three study mm -hmm. because you can't find patients, no matter how good it is, you die. All right, well clearly, what's now happening with the new partner, Ergomed, mm -hmm. we are doing extremely well. No one worries anymore, we won't finish it. Now the question is, will you finish it by the end of 2015 or maybe a quarter later? Okay. Now I'm able to go out to see institutional investors again because for years I had no story. Yeah, okay. But look, cancer immunotherapy has become the hottest space in biotech, which is a super hot space, right? What makes your company different in that space? It, we are the only ones who are boosting the immune system up front. So you obviously can't say, well, you guys at Celsius are the only ones with the brain. That would be a completely stupid assumption, okay? <laughs> it's filled with smart people. Okay. But no regulator and no hospital will give you permission to, in, uh, to use a drug that will delay the proven treatments. They're horrible, surgery, radiation, chemo, but they're the proven treatments. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if your treatment takes longer than three weeks, Mm -hmm. You cannot put it before surgery, radiation, chemo. Ours appears to be the only one that can work and have strong effects on boosting the immune system, help the cancer patients in those three weeks. So therefore, once we come to the finish line and mm -hmm. we prove that our drug works, mm -hmm. why wouldn't people use it not just in head and neck cancer? People are going to try it in breast cancer in melanoma. At that point, doctors and patients are free to do whatever they want. Okay. That brings me quickly, so this sounds like a crazy idea. It, it's so huge that people can't believe it until they hear the next thing. Okay. Why would the U.S. Navy and the government, U.S. government pays for everything, why would they use the exact same drug that we're using against head and, head and neck cancer? Why would they use it in HIV infected men and women with anal warts. So let's focus not on anal warts, but <laughs> human <laughs> papillomavirus, okay? okay? 
It's a huge problem in the HIV-infected people now mm -hmm. because since with the better medicines, they no longer die. Now the secondary infections become primary problems. Mm -hmm great majority of us, somewhere in the order of 95%, become 95, uh, be HPV infected during our lifetime. It's mm -hmm. number one sexually transmitted disease. Mm -hmm. And HPV stands for human papillomavirus. Mm -hmm. So, except the HIV infected cannot get rid of it. But you're seeing here, a drug that's being developed against a cancer, mm -hmm. it's basically a cancer vaccination, mm -hmm. is also being used against a virus. Okay. You see the implications? I see the potential there. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about the money aspect, because it's good to have that dream. I understand the vision, it's clear. Yes. But if the phase three clinical trial is proven successful, would you consider yourself to be the only one who will build this drug and manufacture this drug to sell it, or would you look to find a big partner to sell that drug? There are dreams, and then there's reality. Okay. Okay? The reality is, based upon people I know whose drugs have suddenly gone successful. Yeah. What they told me basically is people wouldn't even return, the certain people wouldn't return their phone calls. Mm -hmm. Once their data came out, their stock was up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times. They raised huge amounts of money very, very quickly. Everybody was interested. And the same people who wouldn't return their phone calls were submitting buyout offers. So this one firm, I can't name it here, mm -hmm. it's within six months they set up a special conference room. They had 156 buyout offers. Mm -hmm you would then have to evaluate what you do. Mm -hmm. We are clearly the perfect takeover target, why? Because if you're a pharmaceutical company, you need products to sell. You need to Definitely. feed your sales force. You don't want to get royalties from someone else. They okay. are operationally minded. Okay. They're all losing their patents. They're, they're paying a ridiculous, Pharma Cyclics mm -hmm. only owns First drug, first year on the market, their new cancer drug had $500 million in sales. Mm -hmm. Half of it owned is owned by J&J, &J, mm -hmm. okay? They just sold their half of the drug for $22 billion. Think okay. about that. It is absolutely amazing. So whatever happens, I don't know. But we do know that if once we have proven that mm -hmm. this concept of boosting the immune system of a relatively healthy person before surgery, radiation, chemo, if that works, mm -hmm. I think we're talking very, very large numbers, and then we'll have to see exactly what happens. Okay. Now let's finish this interview with uh, two re three reasons, uh, Gert, why an investor is looking at this interview right now, who's not yet convinced why he should invest in your company, three reasons why he should consider your company as his next investment. I will give you the reasons why I did, <laughs> other than the fact that I think it will ultimately work. Mm -hmm. Reason number one, we expect to have the study enrolled, fully enrolled by the end of 2015. So give it another quarter, okay. within, within a year. Mm -hmm. Are we still going to be worth $100 million with the study fully enrolled when there are phase one companies, which we never get to our current stage, that mm -hmm. are worth billions? Okay. Number two, we expect to have a uh, data readout on the Navy study mm -hmm. in the HIV infected people with the human papillomavirus problem. Mm -hmm. And the third one is an arbitration that I have against the people who used to run our clinical trial, but we don't need to talk about that one. It's, it will be a surprise. Okay, excellent. So Gert, definitely you have a lot on your plate for 2015. Uh, this drug definitely has a lot of potential from what you said. I like the vision of the company, I love the story. So we definitely look forward to hear back from you. Thank you, Christian. Thanks a lot. Merci.